Hello, my name is Blake Bettner, Managing Editor of Worn & Wound. Today, we are talking about the Norcane Wild One, uh, a new adventure-themed watch from Norcane. This watch is interesting for a few reasons, uh, namely the material, proprietary material that was developed for it called Nortec. This watch features a 42 millimeter case made of 25 different parts, including a Nortec cage, a rubber shock absorber, and a titanium cage on the inside within which the movement is placed. And the Nortec material is light, but not too light. This watch weighs 84 grams and has just enough heft on the wrist, I would say, which just kind of strikes a nice balance. A lot of carbon watches or composite watches end up having something like a plastic feeling and they're a bit light on the wrist. Uh, this does not have that. It strikes a really nice balance uh, between heft and lightness and it's depreciated on the wrist, especially given its 42 millimeter size. Now that 42 millimeter measurement is taken from the edge of the bezel ring on top here. Uh, so it does not include the bumper guards. So it's not a small watch, but it's definitely wearable. So I wouldn't put too much concern into those numbers. The case, as you might have guessed, is incredibly robust. Norcane claims it can resist a 5000 G uh, shock, which is pretty impressive and definitely more than uh, I would want to subject my body to. So one interesting detail about the case is how it's all held together. Uh, with these screws, you, the tops of which you can see within the lug here, and they are shaped to follow the slope of the lug, which is kind of a nice detail. And so they don't sink into a hole or anything like that, like they do along the back of the lug. The dial is a laser etched motif that features the N logo in a variety of positions. It's not quite a pattern, uh, and it doesn't quite jump out as the logo. Uh, it's certainly interesting to look at. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary on an adventure watch. I would like to see this watch with kind of a flat matte dial as well. Although you might enjoy this detail. It's, uh, it's something interesting. I know that uh, detailed patterns and textures are kind of a thing right now with dials. And uh, this has an interesting way of managing that. This is a time only watch. Uh, so there's no date here. The our markers and hands are all high polish. Uh, and this is probably my biggest issue with the watch. Legibility is really hit or miss with this, <laughs> depending on the lighting that you're in. Uh, there's also not much loom to be found here. Also a strange omission on a watch that bills itself as an adventure watch. Powering this watch is a manufacturer movement, uh, the Norcane NN21, uh, one, uh, which is of course a Kinesi movement, uh, very similar to the Tudor MT5402, uh, for instance, which makes it, uh, of course, chronometer spec. This has been running within a few seconds a day uh, in my time with it. I certainly like this movement uh, a lot, and it's got the same tactile feel that the Tudors do when you wind it, which I, which I personally really enjoy. The crown itself gets a rubber coating, so it's a little grippier, but if your hands are a little oily or, or wet or anything like that, it's easy to slip on. So again, it's one of those things that's it's neat and it feels good. Uh, if it's entirely necessary, though, I'm not really sure. So this is a green and black colorway uh, of the Wild One. There are a few other colorways as well that kind of veer into earth tone territory. One one of the benefits of this Nortec is that it can be colored. There's a maroon version where the Nortec itself uh, is maroon. So it's kind of an interesting detail and one of the benefits of using this material. Aside from that, I don't know what it offers over something like a forged carbon or something that we see on watches from Formex or Cubelo or wherever. And the Wild One is priced at $5,290, which feels like a lot uh, considering the movement uh, that can be had in a Tudor, even a fully to titanium Tudor with a bracelet, for instance, can be had for less. And it's a Tudor. One thing the Tudor does have over this is uh, legibility, you know, especially with those big loom blocks that they're using on their dials. I think something along those lines would work really well with the Wild One. The high polished hands and hour markers feel really out of place on an otherwise matte, lightweight, adventure-themed watch. So it's a little jarring to see on the Wild One. I think overall the watch is really handsome though. It's works really well on the wrist. I think they have a lot going here and it certainly doesn't have to lean on any heritage or historical design. This is like purely moving ahead, which I really enjoy about this watch. And of course, you could say the same things about something like a Pelagos, which is kind of a dive watch. This builds itself really as an adventure style field watch. You know, as such, I think it needs much stronger loom and much greater legibility on the dial. As a result, the price feels a little bit tough, but this is a novel material. If that means something to you and you like carbon or, or, or composite watches, uh, but haven't found one that's right for you because they're all a little light or a little plasticky, you should definitely be aware of this watch.
Overall, I really enjoy this watch. Uh, there's a lot to get excited about here, and I think they've really taken some chances that have paid off uh, with this watch, uh, including the case construction. The material, I think, is interesting. The laser etch dial. Uh, however, there's a few misses. Let's call them opportunities. This is kind of a first-generation watch for Norcane. The legibility, those hour hands and those hour markers, I think are borderline unacceptable on an adventure watch like this. But again, this is a first generation of this watch, and I think they could improve on all of these things moving ahead. I'm excited to see where this watch as a platform goes. Maybe some complications mixed in. I'd love to see a date version, maybe a chronograph version or something like that. I think there's a lot to build on here. Uh, there's a lot of maturing that could happen with this watch. The Nortec, that's a novel material, you know, is that worth the price of entry? I'm not sure. Uh, there's a lot of other great watches in that price range, uh, particularly tool watches, of course. So, uh, But there's a lot of unique features like this, and it's not quite the same as a lot of other contemporaries you see out there to this watch. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments below. This is the Norcane Wild One. We have much more on this watch in the full review now live on WarnAndWound.com. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for tuning in.